Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm where today we're going to be finishing off the harvest in field 9. Also, we are hoping to buy a new field as well, or maybe multiple fields. Now, in the previous episode I asked everyone what field do you think we should buy next and I suggested ones in the region of, well, the view which we can see from over here, any of those. And as I thought it would be, um, someone suggested pretty much every single field down there. Uh, between everyone, but the one which seems to stand out at the time of recording this episode was field number 17, which is a fairly long field actually, not very wide. Um, so I'm definitely considering that one. Also though, the grass fields, someone said to buy all of those, and I don't think we'll be able to buy them all, but certainly starting with the smallest and then building up as we go along, we should be able to buy a number of those ones. So 17 and probably 40 and 39, possibly 38 as well, uh, are the ones that we're going to be looking at in the next few episodes, I would say. But what we need to do now, before we do any of that, is get these combines set up again. They're still here from the harvest yesterday. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work it, because I want to sell the canola as we do it today. I guess what I could do is put a straight edge down here. I'll finish that funny shape off there which would make it very easy for the New Holland and the case when it's on a worker. Um, yes the cosplay did not sell all the silage. I did notice that yesterday and I think some other people picked up on it as well. So we will have to do that. We'll get the new horn going. And I'll do this bit. But yeah, not much left at all. This should be done in no time. Everything which we put into storage, we're going to get the Flegel trailer, and we'll sell it with that. It'll be much quicker and easier. Right, that's that section finished off. Now for the straight here. I need to do this bit. Actually, it should be able to do that on its own. I'll try it. If it doesn't do it, then obviously I'll have to fix it. Hopefully, that should work. So here I am in the JCB tractor. It was still parked down there from when we did the sugar beet. So I'm going to take this back to the yard. I'm going to fill it up with yesterday's harvest, or the oilseed rate from then, and this will be sold. Gate shut. Just jump out and do that. But that seems to be working. It's actually followed where there was a curve in the field. The Auto Combine is definitely a good mod, I really do like it. It's so easy to set up as well. Okay, so we'll go through this way. Ok, 
canola. That should fill the trailer. Right, that's full. So now off to the shop to go and sell this. Actually, which one is the best one? Let's just have a look here. Um, so we've got a 588 pounds at the biogas power plant. And we've got 572. So yeah, biogas power plant again. And while we're here, I try and get that course play working again. Unless, of course, our rents are uh, the rent expired. Hmm. That's not in because it's only just done that. We do have the other JCB though. Could use that. Right. We better go and check on how the field is doing. Combines are probably almost full. The inspector mod is showing 92% on the New Holland, so it is almost there. Case isn't far behind. Back into the case, and we will unload the New Holland first. And it's actually almost finished the field already. Okay, I don't think the New Holland has to do anymore actually. It's going to get totally in the way. So we'll just let that unload. And meanwhile, we will get back into the JCB. Put the next load into this trailer. Right, so the trailer is now 31% full. That is the store totally empty. This combine can be folded up. No need for it now. And we'll just use the case combine to finish the harvest. Hardly any left, so I'm not going to use the worker for that. Shouldn't take long. But having two combines and this big combine has really helped with the harvest. That means that when we do any of the fields, it will actually be a very fast process because this field here, when I just had that New Holland, took in real time, hours, literally. I think it was probably almost two hours for the whole field. So it's incredible how quickly it does speed up the process. I do like this combine. Final little section here. the store where we may well sell some sugar beet as well
Right then. Turn it off. Get the JCB. I should make a track there for follow me. Price may well have changed as well actually, now we've already sold some. 588 and 572, no it's still the same. Good. Beacon on. I think it's clear now for two tractors to pull out. Just don't crash. It's still following. Good. And there's the New Hollander. Really should take that back. I left it here because we probably do need some more water. Oh, what's he doing? He's just going to block the road. Well, I think we're doing fairly well, really, out of that. Just see what we get after this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because we do still have more silage to sell. We have all the sugar beets to sell. So, potentially, we still have a lot of money. Now, what I want to do now is probably sell some sugar beet. I'll just do one load with this one and then I'll do well once we've bought the fields actually we'll do the follow me mod to take everything back Do a full trail load of this. Yeah, there's the small fields down there. I really do like those. I want to get them. Probably starting at this end. Not quite sure how you get to them. Um, must be a track over there. I think. Almost full. Bit more in the back. There we go. Feels quite heavy. Didn't check the prices for this, I better do that. Just before I sell it. I'm here now, so I might as well sell it here, but um Sugar Beet. We have a lot in storage. 209. That's the only place I think. Uh yep. So not really much choice there. Yeah, it's not worth a great deal. But we do have a lot of it.
Right then, just before we take everything back, have a bit of a tidy up, uh, we just want to go and inspect these fields, see what they're worth, see how many we can buy. Uh, where did I say? Just up there, I think. Come on, car. Yeah, I think it's just up here turning. It's a bit bumpy. So here's field number 40. This is a small one. Wow, that is cheap. <laughs> wow, we're going to be able to buy quite a lot then. All of these. And this one is still, again, very cheap. Is this the one which is designed for trees? Yes, it is, I think. Hmm. Let's put some trees in there, then. And then we have got fair number 38. I have to keep a close eye on my money, though, because I still want to buy number 17. If it turns out we can't afford 17, I'll just, buy, I'll just sell some more sugar beet. We'll buy that one. 37 is a bit bigger. But like I said before, I just feel to have been over the other side of the map too much. Not really spent much time down here. Right, so... Uh, no gate here. I just have to squeeze through this gap in the hedge. Yeah, a bit prickly. So where is the buy point for this field then? I assume there is a gateway somewhere. Must be at the gateway. You must have to get here by going through where the sugar beet is, I assume. We'll soon find out. Oh, unless you do it from going down that road. Possibly. I don't think we'll buy 36 today. But hopefully 37. Yeah, we can afford that. So there we go, we have just bought four fields, more than I was expecting to buy, and we've still got number 17 to come. However, it is pretty big number 17, so I don't know, we might not be able to afford it yet. I do like this field. This is possibly going to be my favourite field on the map. I just like the way that you can have all these shady areas. There aren't many fields with a lot of shade. This seems to be one of them. Yeah, we'll spin round, we'll go back and get the other two tractors. We'll take everything back to the yard, and then I'll just whiz back to field 17. See if I can afford it. If I can, I'll buy it now. If I can't, we'll just sell the rest of the silage or something in the next episode. And uh, go from there. So, let's get this follow me mod set up. Okay, so here we go. Everything is there. Hopefully no other traffic cuts us up. Oh, just what I was trying to say. It's so annoying. Come on, New Holland, push in front. You have the power. Good. So it looks like it's going to work. Fingers crossed. Right, we're all still following. New Holland has just decided to stop on the junction. I think we've all regrouped. Oh, that's really weird. 
That one always stops on the junction. Oh well, it has to go that way anyway. Right. As that one wants to be so popular with the, the locals by just stopping on every junction it sees, I think we better go and sort that one out first. Just so it doesn't make too much of a traffic jam. Traffic jam is already made. Mr. Popular. Doesn't really matter where it goes, just as long as it's at the other yard down here. Somewhere out of the way. Find just here. Stay there for now. Engine off, and let's see now. JCB, and of course the case as well. these just over here it's fine and this one I just reverse the trailer and we'll put it just over here right after field 17 see how much it costs and then hopefully buying it I oh, don't know it's already got a crop in it that means we can immediately go and harvest it if we want to. But yep, we're at the right field here. Ah, oh, so close. That is so close. 59,200. 58,186. Oh well, it gives us something to do tomorrow. Yep, we'll buy this field tomorrow. We will either sell some sugar beet or set up the silage again and finish that off. So thanks for watching everyone and we will continue tomorrow. Bye for now.